Joanne's video, I'm going to do a couple things in this. For one thing I want to do is instead of playing like this this week, I want you to, you might have to take your strap and slide it over. I want you to play that staying like this. Now watch. Here's where my hands were, this position. I'm not going like this and turning my hand or something. I'm just putting my hands on here, and they're all at a 45-degree angle, as you can see my first, second, third finger there. And I'm just going to take it and do this. I simply lift it up. And I don't have to bring my elbow in or do anything weird. I'm just going to lift it up from this straight position here. And I don't want to lay it back. We've talked about that before. So we're going to go like this. It's going to be 45 degrees. Now, uh, we talked about playing legato. And, and I'm going to read your cryptic notes. That just means this. It means connected. Each note connected to the next one. measure it at a time on this song, on that song, we'll be down to the river form. So once you get that information from the measure, I want you to take your eyes off from the, from the uh, tablature down to your left hand. And I want you to check your thumb, make sure it's in a good position. And, uh, Right underneath each other. And, and then, so I want that we're going to work on legato, and we're going to have this position here. And um, try to keep that uh, third finger when you go up that fifth fret, try to keep it curved because sometimes you have a habit of just like flattening it. You can see it. Like flattening it out. I want it to be, you know, curved. So just like the other one. So we have a little, um, a finger is in an arch, I should say. All right, then we're going to work on this word man blues, and we're going to work on that in the same way. We're going to have, we're going to get the message from the uh, tablature. And we're going to play it a couple times. We're going to have tablature and memorizing it. Then we're going to work away from the tablature back down to our neck of our mandolin. Watch our left hand. And I want to make sure you anchor this right hand. It'll make it easier for you. Floating like this, it sounds fine. You're, you're playing, it sounds fine, but it's just, it's harder to kind of, when you're floating around, to find those strings. Easier. And then now we get that one memorized. So now uh, we tried that a few times looking at our fingerboard. Now we go back to the tablature. Might have to do it a couple times, but it's pretty simple. Now we look away from the temperature back down to our fingerboard. Can you see me looking at the fingerboard? No, you can't. <laughs> but we're going to be looking at the fingerboard while we practice that a few, a few times. And then we look back to the third measure all the way through, okay? And do that on the tablature, looking at the tablature. Now we look away from the tablature, back down to our fingerboard. And work through the whole song like that. Okay? Well, when I don't have the mandolin. See, I know you had to look. <laughs>